you know, so high now in the in the Champions League, given the new format. But she did say that um, she'd much rather be through already than have to play this match. Here's Harder. Sanko was there, but in the end, Harder decided to go at it alone. She will miss a potential quarter-final round if Wolfsburg do progress. Broad. Oberdorf! Just wide. Yeah, again, just underlining a good start for Wolfsburg. Oberdorf lets fly with the left foot. Catches it really pretty well. For one moment, thought it may have hit the target. Applauding a decent effort, the the game, and yeah, you want to see the, the best players in Europe up against each other. Here's Hoot. Space opening for Wolfsburg. Von der Sonne takes a shot. There's an open goal, and Hoot is able to take advantage. The captain back into the squad and straight onto the score sheet for Wolfsburg. The home side take the lead. You know, a massive worry for me would have been at the start of this game that Hoot has been getting so much time on the ball for Wolfsburg. She puts that pass in there, sets it up, and then does so well because Van der Sande puts a cross in. It's a decent ball, low and hard, but Hoot follows it up, gets a little bit of luck. I think she actually hits it right foot against her left ankle. You see here, kind of, yeah, and then scooped up into the top corner. He's given the captain's armband for a couple of games after Svenja Hoot was out injured. And you look now with the captain's the armband again. Here's Rasmut. Hoot again. Oh my word. They've doubled their lead, Wolfsburg. How simple was that from the Germans? It's the captain again, Svenja Hoot, with a simple, simple tap in because Wolfsburg lead by two goals to nil. Yeah, it's excellent play from Wolfsburg to get to the byline. Vazbut cuts it back, and it, the amount of space that Hook gets here. A world-class player, she's already scored. She's just having free reign all over the pitch. No one near her, the easiest goal she'll ever score. Great play here to get to the byline, though. Takes Carter all the way in there. No Chelsea midfield player coming back to park, and Hook, again, right place, right time, easy finish, 2-0. Cuthbert. Kurt. Off the crossbar in the end. Yeah, ev evades pretty much everyone there. And Kerr, a sort of shot come cross, I think. Just trying to hook it back in and then, yeah. Ingle. Nice ball forward here for Harder. Still Harder goes on. Tried from the tightest of angles. Wiedemeyer with the ball in. Rauch. Von der Sonder almost. And the Von der Sonder's face when that reached it. Yeah, this was the earlier chance. Rauch playing that ball to the front post area for Von der Sonder. Cuthbert. Kirby. Here's Kerr. Now G. Looking to make an impact straight off the bench, and almost she did. Should have. It's a great chance. Slot this one again. I got away. It's it's the best bit of play from Chelsea in that first half. And with, with someone of, of her quality, you just want her to slot. G. Brighton. Brighton. In the end, it was a shot from her. Force a save from Schultz. Let's give it to Chelsea. Long ball across, straight out by Roth. G. Leupoltz. Kirby! Yeah, that's a real chance for Kirby with her quality. Just can't get enough. If they do get knocked out here, because I don't think that anyone would have expected Chelsea to go out. Huge. 
without a doubt, absolutely huge. Well, it could be worse here because Wasmut is in. The competition's top goal scorer, Tamiya Wasmut, adds to her tally and also adds to Wolfsburg's tally. They've got three, and it couldn't be getting any better for Wolfsburg, who have got themselves right into this game. I mean, you really have to, from a Wolfsburg point of view, believe in this player, Wasmut. She just gets a sniff and knows exactly how to finish this. There's no way she can take a side foot here. It's a toe poke. It has to be. It means that she can take it early. It means that the goalkeeper sees it late and she gets that touch there just before Millie Bright can make it. They found a way and there is time. The ball has landed to Leopold. Couldn't quite get the connection on it that she wanted. Gives the ball away, and here's Ludwig. Now Basmut. Into the side netting. And there we go. Confirmation of who the player was that's come off. It's Carter. Oh, it just hit the crossbar. Kerr was trying to get it on the rebound. So plenty of changes then. Scott for Chelsea, you just saw that opportunity there from Noan. Oh, Wasmuth could be in here. It could be worse. It's worse for Chelsea, but it's so, so good for Wolfsburg. Wasmuth has her second. She's got eight now in the competition's group stages. And Wolfsburg have four, and they sure Yeah, good evening for Wolfsburg. Really messy there at the back from Chelsea. But Wasmut, she knows how to score. I mean, the, the last finish was a manufactured finish, a toe poke when she needed it. This time, she just lets fly. Just makes sure that she gets good contact and it hits the roof of the net. It's Erin Cuthbert that just, you know, doesn't quite get there. The ball comes off Wasmut, but she makes it happen. Find a comeback, Chelsea. It would take some miracle because here we go again. Vasmo tries it again and almost, almost found the back of the net for a third time. Times do Chelsea want to let a player like Tavio Vasmo in on the goal like that? Too many. I think this time she tries another type of finish. Really good performance tonight. Hood. Away by Bright. Only as far as Orbedorf. She could head her away, but again. There goes the full time whistle. The referee didn't see the need to play all three minutes because Wolfsburg are the team who top group A and they will be going through to the next round and just look at